so no, we had all of the other stuff. We had all the kind of Catholicism and then all that kind of stuff. And even that, that gets on my nerves at this stage because I'm not a man for text and holding to text really strictly, like laws and rules and regulations. And the Bible thing in particular, for God's sake, we've moved on, right? If you're a religious person, fine, go for that, whatever you're into. But at least in this part of the world, we don't take it literally. There's nobody like there is in America going, no, no, Genesis is a historical fact. And you're going, for God's sake, Genesis was just a load of fairy stories to get the kids to go to bed on a donkey ride to Jerusalem 2,000 years ago, right? <laughs> Stop taking it literally. It's only the Bible. It's not gospel. <laughs> not every word in it is supposed to be true, right? For God's sake. And they, people give out about evolution, right? This wonderful thing that we invented and we came up with this fantastic theory to explain incredibly complex things. And people go, no, no, it's not in the book. It can't be right. How could, and they, on their little arguments, creationist arguments like, oh, you, how could the eye just have evolved? It must be a gift from God. And you're going, no, oh, you're not getting the point. The whole point of evolution is that random things just happened and the useful ones hung around, right? Basically, there were loads of blind monkeys. <laughs> And then one day, a one-eyed monkey wandered into the middle of it all and rolled everything left, right and centre. And he was king of the monkeys until Mr. Feckin' Two Eyes sashayed into the clearing. It's a wonder I'm not invited to more churches in Alabama to give that speech.